Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's explore the concept of the vector components, components of vectors. Let's do an example in the rectangular coordinate system. And so if we're going to write a vector, that vector will have an x component, a y component, and a z component. Now these are the magnitudes of the x, y, and z components, and the sign indicates the direction relative to the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis. Here we have an, an illustration of that. Let's say we have a vector a, has an x, the y, and the z component. Notice that this here, this represents the length of the y component, this represents the length of the x component, and this here represents the length of the z component. Notice that the tip of the vector, if you come straight down to the x, y plane, this would be the point directly below the tip of the vector. That's how you want to look at it. If you want to calculate the magnitude of the vector, one way to indicate the magnitude, you draw absolute value signs around it, or you write the letter without the little arrow on top. That means the magnitude of vector A, and it's the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. If you have an example like this, let's say the vector is equal to 5 units in the x direction, 3 units in the y direction, and a negative 2 units in the z direction, then if you want to find the magnitude of that vector, A will then be equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared minus 2 quantity squared. Doesn't really matter if you write the negative there because when you squared the negative goes away but that just shows you that that's the magnitude and you do want to take the component direction in there as well. And so a then becomes equal to the square root of 25 plus 9 plus 4 or a is equal to the square root of 38. So that would be the magnitude of your vector, and that's how it's found, by simply taking each of the components, squaring them, and adding them together. So that's the concept of the components of a vector. We'll now learn more in the next video about the direction of those components and the cosine directions as well. So stay tuned, and we'll get on to the next video.